Good day guys, this is uh, part two of uh, our COVID experience <laughs> even though I don't know if we can call it this uh, an experience uh, it's been seven days now that um, I'm positive to, to COVID so um, I'm feeling better than the last uh, video we did the last video uh, three or four days ago I think so I'm feeling better but I'm having a very very rough cough and especially at night even during the day I'm, I'm coughing but uh, at night is worst so I don't know why and uh, one of the worst thing for me having COVID is I can't have coffee I'm a coffee addict I drink at least five six coffees a day and apparently coffee or tea is really bad for for COVID really bad for for cough, so I cannot have coffee. So this is it's really hard. What do you say? Because it's I think made from caffeine. Yeah, it's based on caffeine. So how do you yeah. feel? I'm feeling much better. I just have some you know, uh, flu. Not too bad. But, but you're not I'm coughing surprised. still. I'm not coughing. I don't have cough. My fever only um, one and two days. That's all. Yeah, we don't have fever anymore. Yeah, we don't have fever anymore. So basically, we are, I think we are in a mild case, is it? Yeah, mild case. Uh, mild case. Another difficult thing is we have three cats at home. And like we said before, we still can't touch them. And they don't understand why. So they keep rolling on the floor when they, they see us. But we, we can't hug our cats. So it's, uh, <coughs> it's a bit annoying. So we bought a few things to cure COVID because there is no cure for, for COVID. And the only thing you can do is to take a vitamin. So we bought lots of vitamin. And uh, we bought something called the oximeter. Is it? Is it? Yeah, when you... Put it up, turn it around. Is it this one? Yeah. Pinch my finger. So okay. I switch on. This is very important that you must have. So we're just gonna wait two seconds. So the first one is the oxygen, is it? Yep. And the second one is the Your heartbeat. heartbeat. Yeah. So the oxygen must be above ninety. Is it above ninety-five or ninety-five? Above ninety-five only. For the first one. The oxygen and the heartbeat must be above uh, 60 pulse per minute. So at the moment I am on 72, 73 pulse per minute. So it's okay. But two days ago it was on 58, 60. So my heartbeat was very, very slow two or three days ago. And now it's, now it's okay. So what else we got? We bought um, a lot of disinfectant as well. Because Especially when you have uh, COVID, you know what you need, you have to fight the virus by vitamin that what you eat, vitamin D3, it's this a must. This is fish oil, yeah? Yeah, the fish oil. Must be have a 1,000, 1,000 IU. Yeah. It's very important to have this at home. Vitamin C. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. What else? Another vitamin here. Ah, this is an this energy one booster. This is an energy booster. <coughs> yeah, we have this. <coughs> Our still have cough. Yeah. And we need to sanitize everything. So you have this big thing as well, like, like you see everywhere, of course. That one is uh, sanitize. Sanitize our hands everywhere we go. And we have this. It uh, kills the COVID-19 virus. Yeah. This one, I normally spray on our bed. Because me and Roman, we still sleep in separate rooms. Yeah. Because he have cough. Because we are not even 10 days yet. So I rather, we rather stay in separate at the moment. Then we ordered uh, cough elderberries for Roman. Because he have cough. So I think... You will get it by today. 
Yeah, I really, really hope so. This COVID is um, very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. I don't know where you will watch this video from. I don't know where you're from and how they treat COVID in, uh, in your country, but... Uh... And in Malaysia, we have like, uh, I don't know, so much host saying, okay, you need to do the lemon drink, drink it hot with the one with honey, right? Yeah. So I do this every day, yeah. Yeah, you a spoon of honey for my, for my trough. And, and you can also gargle um, warm water with salt. So this apparently is good for, for your throat as well, so we, we do this as well. And the traditional way, I don't know if you believe that. Some people cloth. say cloth. Cloth, it might help for you. I mean, actually when you have a COVID, your lung weak, you know, especially when you have cough. Mm -hmm. So, I just boil with water, yeah, boil, it's like maybe 20 of cloth. I boil and let Roman and me drink <laughs> every day, like twice a day, morning and night. Yeah, this hurts. I think that's a hard, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it. Well, like I said, I don't know where you watched this video from and how is COVID in your in your country. Malaysia doesn't seem to do much at the moment. No, we are on 21,459 21, yesterday. How many? 21,459. So almost 22,000 cases in Malaysia. That case was 18 <coughs> yesterday. So it's... I don't know when the tourism is going to come back in Malaysia. I have no idea. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to work as well. I work as a professional photographer in, a, in Kuala Lumpur. I normally shoot like a corporate events and a family photo shoot. And I did not work since um, February. So um, this is a, it's very, very annoying. No income since February for me. So we're lucky that uh, Fiza can work from home and has a, income from a company from company because i'm still working nine to five job but can, but since last year since uh, i think since march last year yeah, yeah working from home working from home very lucky have my salary have roof yeah it's most important and we've got something and like this i got well. something from my friends that she delivered yesterday this, uh, what you call that, she give us as a gift. <coughs> what is it? She said it's a bird nest. It's a bird nest to boost your immune system. So I know a bird nest is very good. Let's have a look. Bean plus edible bird nest. Open it. Okay, just want to show them. Ultra edible bird nest mixed with mango, steam, and sour soup. Strawberry. Mm. And made from Malaysia. Open it. Wait. You want a knife? No, it's okay. I think. Yeah, I need a knife. Alright, <laughs> once again guys, let's grab a knife somewhere. Okay, it's at the station. Don't cut your finger, eh? You're clumsy. Okay. It's little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know how to use a knife. You scared me, man. <laughs> you want me to do it? 
No, it's okay. Ay, 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 ay. Hey, we cannot go to hospital. It's, uh... Look at this, how you open that. Mm. I'm not good in opening anything. Alright, let me see. Ah, this is how it looks. What is it? A bird nest. So you drink this with water? At all. Let me read. It's written here. Um, Okay, wait. Uh, is it? Ah, oh, yep, here. Edible bird nest mixed with mango steam, sour soup, and strawberry. Alright, let's so just I open one so we can check what it is. Yeah. Let me give you a glass of water. That's it. Just gonna put some light as well because we can't see anything in here. Glass of water. Not too much. So I don't drink much water. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's not about it. How much water do you I need? Remember, keep the white one better over there. This is my glass here. Maybe this much, eh? And spoon? Take this one. Okay. Ready? I need scissors. I cannot open. Oh, you. I cannot. I'm holding the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta cut your finger off. So this is the color. It's like mango. And stir it and drink it. Dissolve. The funny thing is, both of us, we can taste, we can smell, right? This, this is <laughs> very, very, very annoying. annoying. This not having taste or smell is terrible. It's terrible. Every day we're eating and it feels like you're eating cottons. You don't have any any taste at all in your mouth. This is terrible. Okay. Let's see. So even if it's not good you won't taste it. Anything. All right. I'll try after I will take one of my own. So this is pretty much everything we do to uh, try to cure COVID. Like I said, it's not many things you, you can do. Not much you can do to cure it instead of taking vitamins. And we're hoping that. Uh, as soon as the, the borders open, we're gonna go back to, to traveling. We normally go to the Perintian Island at least two or three times a year, and this year is not, it's not, not gonna happen. happen. Yeah. The people in the Perintian Islands struggle a lot because there's absolutely no tourists since last year. They had people. This year, this year especially yeah, the it's tourists, really tourists was no tourists either last year. Mm -hmm. So it's terrible for people. People are losing uh, everything. So if we cannot go to the Perintian, we may go to Chuaman Island this year because the island is not closed during the, the Muslim season. Mm. So we may gonna go to Chuaman Island, fingers crossed. And uh, I have also a trip, a cycling trip that I'm planning to do next year. I will go probably on my own because Fiza here is not gonna cycle 100 kilometers a day. <laughs> so I will probably uh, go cycling by myself for two or three months. I would like to go cycling from France to Finland and Finland to France. And uh, I will try to uh, raise money for charity as well. I always raise money for charity every time I'm going cycling somewhere. And uh, we keep in touch guys. 
and we were, <coughs> sorry, and uh, we will see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye bye.